the requirements for the projects are pretty simple. You just need to have pi win32. You can use this requirements file to get the dependencies. Let's create a file named service.py. I have named it service for my convention. You can name it anything you want. We're going to start by importing win32 service util. This is a module presented by pywin32 that enables us to create a service. In the main thread, let's use a command line handler. Before that, let us create our main service. Let's create a class and name it example service and let it inherit win32 service util service framework. This is the framework we are going to use to create our service. Let's set up some properties that will identify our service in the service manager. SVC name is the name of our service. Let's give it example service. And for my convention, I'll add an A in the front so that it's reachable for me in the service manager. And the display name is a name that will be used in parts of Windows that will display the name of the service. Let's create the constructor and override it with service framework in it. For overall control, let's also set a default timeout in case something goes wrong. So we'll use a socket and create a default timeout so that in case something fails, the service can exit automatically. There are mainly two functions that need to be overridden. The first one is SVC do run. This function is called when the service is asked to start. Let's pass it for now. And the next function is svc stop. This function is called when the service is asked to stop. For the service to stop, we should first report to the service manager about the status of exit. So using the service framework's report service status, we'll report a service stop ending status so that it can prepare to stop the service. As soon as it is ready to stop the event, we will create an event that will destroy the service. We will create the event from win32 event with all none. Just to purify some stuff, let's continue. Instead of doing the main step on the svc do run function, let's create another function that will handle the main step. While this service runs as a system service, you can't know what's happening inside the service without logging it properly. So let's start logging it in a file name service.log.
let's do the main stuff in the main function. So let's log it. Let's log an info in the main session saying that the service has entered the main function, which denotes the service has started. Finally, let us add an event logger. So import service manager and use its log message. Ask the event logger to log for this particular event specified by the service name. And finally, we are ready with the blueprint of our Windows service. Check the next video to know how to run the service.